Alright guys, so I want to get this out of the way right now before the tutorial even starts. What you guys see in the thumbnail image is what we are actually not going to be painting in this tutorial. This was just a promotional image utilizing the techniques that I'm about to show you in this tutorial. Alright, so I did paint this from scratch. It did take me about an hour and a half and I felt like it wasn't necessary for me to cover the entire painting process of what I was doing over here. This tutorial is more focused on the techniques to get you guys up and running so that you can go ahead and paint your own Adairs models within Substance Painter. So just keep that in mind in case there's anybody saying that this is clickbait. Um, <laughs> it's just part of the thumbnail guys but like I said the most important thing is the techniques that I'm about to show you in this tutorial. We'll be bringing in a Adairs model um, and you'll see in the tutorial I actually have my model already loaded so you guys can just go ahead and load in a Genesis 2, Genesis 3 or even a Genesis 8 model into your scene. Uh, I would say this tutorial, tutorial is not for absolute beginners. Like I said in certain parts I am jumping forward a little bit. Even in ZBrush I've already added on some detail. So it's assuming you know how to use these programs a little bit. Uh, but you can still follow along with it and give it a try. You'll see at the end of this tutorial you'll be able to basically bring your models into Substance Painter, a DAS model, and you'll be able to start painting it. Uh, so that's going to be really fun. And uh, just to give you guys a quick breakdown of maybe maybe interested in how I actually painted this, uh, it's just a lot of different layers that I've used over here. You can see even with some of the paint layers with some of these brush strokes, I've even adjusted some of the height to make them stick out a little bit. So it kind of looks like dry paint. And then uh, in areas like this, I've, ba I've basically used the smudge brush to give it a more natural look and feel. And then it's just a whole lot of layering. And another important smart material, I think you can get this from Substance Source, is the skin face. And I just use that to add some surface breakup and some skin detail to our character without having to sculpt that in ZBrush. And uh, yeah, I just spent a whole lot of time adding some colors together and putting some render passes together to get our final image that you guys see over here. But anyway, enough enough uh, talking about that. I'm sure you guys are interested to see how you can actually set up this, the, these DAS models and start painting them with Substance Painter. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to be showing you just a quick method of how I take DAS models straight out of DAS into Substance Painter so I can actually start painting on the maps. And now it was a little bit tricky to figure out at first, but uh, I'll be running you through the whole process. Okay, so in DAS, once you've got your model, this is just a regular Gen 2. It doesn't matter what you're using, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 8, this method will work. Uh, what you want to do is, once you're done, I'm just going to be doing a T-Pose. And yes, this is me, by the way. So you want to go to File, Export, and um, here's my folder here. Da, 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 da. Where is my folder? Alright, so I'm gonna export an OBJ. I'll just call this Trav Paint. Alright, save that. Now, by default, these are my usual settings. I'm collecting the maps because I want these original texture maps. But the really important thing is you want to click on Collapse UV Tiles, then click Accept. So by ticking that, it's actually going to collapse all of your UV tiles and you're not going to have so much headaches in Substance Painter because if I didn't tick that box, I was encountering a whole bunch of errors when, uh, when I was trying to drag materials onto the model, they wouldn't show correctly. So ticking that box actually helped to solve those problems. Now in Substance Painter, I'm going to go File New and then go ahead and select your OBJ. Okay, so I can import uh, the maps for this, this object. You'll see if I go to that folder over here, it exported all these maps and these are all different texture sets. Now that's another really important thing that we're going to be covering in the video. So let's see, arms, legs, I want to be using this one, this one, this one, that and that. Okay, so let's add that in. So I'm using this, eyes, uh, this face, those legs, that tors torso, eye moisture, mouth. We can import all of these. 
Malin eyes, cornea, the lashes, but we don't need to do that now. We're not going to work with opacity in here. Uh, I've got legs, so then click open and then click on OK. So it's going to go ahead and load in your model. Now you won't see any textures on here, but if we go to textures, you'll see that it actually imported all of those maps. So here on the right, we have a texture set, which means that uh, there's individual UV islands for different parts of the body, like the ears and the cornea and the arms. So we have to paint on these these parts individually, right? We can't just paint across the entire model uh, seamlessly, right? Because this is how these DAS models are set up. We have to use texture sets. So here for arms, I'm gonna go ahead and select the arms and I'm gonna create a full layer. And on the full layer, we just need to drag arms into the base color. And now here by UV scale, we wanna put this on one because by default it does crazy stuff and it puts it all the way onto three. So put that on one, and there we go. We can just increase some of the roughness there. Now you'll do that for everything over here. So for the ears, full layer. Uh, so the ears would be part of the face over here. And again, put that on one. So it's a little bit tedious how it sets this up, um, but you have to do this. So let's go ahead and get the torso as well. But again, at the end of this, you're going to have this awesome, awesome program that you can start painting in. So I don't see why you wouldn't want to do this. And then you'll just be bringing all of your texture sets in here. So I'm going to do the face as well. Okay, base color. That on one decrease my roughness so there we go this is the DAS model now in substance painter and uh, we don't have to bake anything everything's been baked for us we've got all of our texture sets over here uh, if you maybe took this into ZBrush and you sculpted some high-res detail on here you'd have to bake uh, the textures bake that high onto uh, this model which would be your low uh, but we're not doing that we're just painting directly on a DAS model in this video and then from here and like go to materials and let's say maybe gold see now if I say add black mask and we maybe use these awesome particle brushes like burn see that we can start painting directly onto our model and it does paint it seamlessly on the model but you'll see that we are constrained to the face because that's what we have selected so we have to go to these different areas uh, to paint on them. So yeah, material, let's do gold again, add a black mask. So it's just the way these DAS models are set up, but you are getting the power of a PBR painting. So you see like in sections like this, if you're doing something like this, you run into kind of like an error like that. So you'd have to come back onto the face, whoops, you can solo, you have to come back to the face and try and line it up and blend those two together and make it look as if you painted across those two regions. Alright, but you can see it's possible and you can paint directly on your DAS model in Substance Painter using PBR texturing. And it's really that simple to set up. Okay. Okay, so let's say I was also detailing this now further in ZBrush. So here's an object, you can see 1 million, just put some random details. And uh, you can see where I'm detailing it. So this would be on the torso area. But now just for demonstration purposes, I'm even going to add just, okay, just let's put random detail there on the arms and some random detail there on the head. So I'm going to export this out as high. Alright, so I export that out as high. Now if I go back to Substance Painter, you can see yeah, I was testing it and it worked. So now you want to make sure you're on the correct layer. Um, well in this case, Let's see, we've got details that were painted on the arms and the torso. So we want to project those details in all those areas. So you want to go and select the correct uh, 
location so I'll go for torso bake textures I'm gonna go ahead and select my trap paint high put it on two cattle one thickness now my ID make sure it says texture set you go and select torso and with vertex color is fine then say bake torso textures not bake all texture sets because that'll mess it up so bake torso textures now you, again you're gonna have to bake these details one by one on these different texture sets so you'll see now it's gonna go ahead and bake the torso so just give it a little bit of time so yeah this is also how we project the high res details onto this low res uh, DAS mesh and we can still paint on it yes yeah, so there we go now I wanna, we had details on the arms as well so I'm gonna go ahead and select arms for bake textures 2k I'd still got my trav high no thickness my ID see everything is already there by default vertex color then just say bake arm textures so we'll go ahead and bake that high res detail on the arms as you can see over there just give it some time not sure I wonder if this artifact is going to stay here uh, hope not yeah, it didn't but yeah there we go so then you start baking all the details on all the necessary uh, all these different parts so that you can get that high res detail on this model as well so that's just something to keep in mind and then uh, once you've done yeah you just go file export textures and uh, let's see okay we want to export all 17 texture sets uh, let's see config um, over here I think I use PBR Metal Rough for Substance uh, for Octane Render. Yeah, then you just say export and you'll export the maps. And yeah, it's that it's that simple. And now again, now I've got that high res detail on here. Uh, let's put actually no, let me try this on the torso. Because I think it'll be more obvious. Just put an iron powder or something. And now there's the high res detail from ZBrush. And yeah. Oh, I can just paint this on you if I want. And just have fun with it. So yeah, you can use your PBR texture in on a DAS model. And you can even project the high res detail from ZBrush in Substance Painter as well. So that would be the complete workflow with DAS and even ZBrush with high res projection and painting, still painting on top of that and then exporting the maps. Okay. Alright guys, so I've jumped back to the model you saw at the beginning and once you're done with this, you guys can actually decide if you want to render your character within Substance Painter because Substance Painter has its own render engine that utilizes iRay and iRay is actually pretty good. I've used it for rendering a couple of assets. It's not bad at all. Uh, you can definitely get some nice renders or like I showed you, you can go ahead and export out these textures and take it to another program. So it's also good to, uh, you'll see that in your viewport, your viewport looks completely different to what the render uh, is actually going to look like. So if I click on that camera icon that you see over there, it's going to take me over to the iRay render you'll see there's a whole lot of render settings and uh, this is where you're actually going to see your render properly uh, so this is what I was doing and I was just rendering out different render passes and I just painted over these eyes in Photoshop and uh, yeah so it's good to open up iRay just to get an idea of what your scene is going to look like and I'm using the Tomeco Studio environment map and these are my settings here I put my samples on 250 not too high uh, but that seems to be fine for me and then there's a whole lot of other settings there that you guys can play with here about the dome you'll see that I put it on clear color because if I untick that we'll see the actual environment in our scene so I just put a clear color over here 
I adjusted some of the cameras field of view and there's even some post effects that you guys can use you like depth of field tone mapping glare and a whole lot of other stuff so if you wanted to you could just render this straight out of iray uh, which is exactly what i did for my image uh, but yeah it's up to you guys so we have reached the end of this tutorial and uh, hopefully now you guys are equipped with the knowledge to go ahead and start painting your own DAS models and uh, if you want to feel free to get in contact with me and show me some of your results I'd actually love to see them and as always guys thank you so much for the support I truly appreciate it and stay tuned for some more tutorials and goodbye